Grab your sunglasses. These aren't prescription, right? Uh, no. Whew, wow, these are tight. Is the right one okay to do, or? Um, oh, I mean, it's, it's a little I'm not tight. flexible, so it's like. Well, I really can't loosen them up too much more. It's just you, you've got broad shoulders, so they're going to be a little uncomfortable. Mm. It's not cutting into you or anything like that. That feels like it. Here, stand up for a second. Get a second opinion on these. He's got broad shoulders. I know they're uncomfortable, but do you they think feel like they're too tight? Right right the uh, it's going to be a problem, eventually. Eventually. Yes, yeah, sir. I think he's okay for the interview there. Or unless you want to go ahead and change them out well, now. Well, if, if we do it now, we'll save us trouble later. Let's do I'll, it now. I'll, I'll, I'll take care of this if you want to go get, a, get right. another set and we'll okay. hook them up. Thank you. Just stand right here and what we'll do is we'll go get another set and we'll readjust these. Okay. Um, he's right about this one. This one's going to be okay. And as soon as we get that done, all I'm going to ask you is that as we start to remove the cuffs, just let your hands stay free. Yes, sir. Okay. And then I'll, uh, we'll adjust them as best we can. Uh, obviously, they're not meant to be comfortable, but they're not meant to be, uh, uh, you know, tremendously uncomfortable. Because this is tingling and cold already. On your left hand? Yes, sir. Okay. We'll take care of that, and then we'll sit you down, and then an investigator will come in and introduce uh, themselves to you, and then, uh, and then go through a process. You understand all that? Yes, sir. Okay. We're just going to put a new set of flex, flex cuffs on. Just remember, as it, this thing start to drop, just uh, lean over the waist. Okay. Just lean over a little for you go. Stay bent over. Yeah, that one's going to be a tough one. Okay. Relax. Just um, stay bent over. Close, close your fist. Get some circulation going. Do me a favor, bend over the waist. Just okay. stay bent over. Thank you. Yeah. I understand that. Well, they're not comfortable, sir. Like I said, you got to we'll do the best. We'll do the best we can. You want me to take off your watch so it'll feel no, a little bit better? that's fine. That's fine. Okay. All right. You okay? I'm going to go ahead and uh, mm -hmm. bring these up. Would you like, you want your hands uh, hands this way or um, this might be better this way? Yeah, yeah I guess. Okay. I'm not flexible. I understand that. Okay. Yes, sir. That a lot better? Mm -hmm. All right, sir, okay. have a seat. I'm going to take your sunglasses put them with your property, all right, sir? All right. Okay. All right. Investigator Reed. Okay, this is an uh, investigator who introduced herself, and, and uh, she'll talk to you about Thanks. a couple of things here. Okay. My name is Debbie Reed. I'm an investigator with the state attorney's office. Yes, ma'am. And we're here assisting Byler. Beach Police Department mm -hmm. with uh, this operation. And what I want to do is just get some basic information from you okay. as far as your name and everything. But um, what is your uh, last name? Collins. Can you spell it for me? C O L L I N S. And what's your first name? Michael. Is it M I C H A E L? Okay, do you have a middle name? Wayne. Okay, Mr. Collins, do you have any aliases that you use? No. Do you go by Mike at all? Um, sometimes, I guess, yeah. Okay. Is it okay if I call you Mike or Michael? Sure. What do you prefer? Mike, fine. Mike? All right. Okay, and... Okay, what's your birthday? 7-26-72. And how old are you now? 34. Okay, and um, what's your social security number? Okay, and how tall are you? 5'8. And how much you weigh? 170. Okay, and your hair color is blonde? And your eyes are blue. blue. Okay. All right, and what's your um, permanent address?
And do you have a home phone number? Okay, do you have any other address other than the burnt tree lane? No. No? Okay, where do you work? Um, I work for myself. You're self-employed? Mm -hmm. What's your company name? And is it the same address? Yes. Address? Okay. All right. Um, what I wanted to do is read your Miranda warnings. Are you familiar with those? No, I'm not really, no. Okay. Well, I'm, I'll read it to you anyway. Okay. You have a right to remain silent, and anything you say may be used as evidence against you. Do you understand that? Mm hmm Okay. You have the right to talk to an attorney and to have him with you now or at any time during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you. Do you understand that? Mm hmm Okay. If at any time you wish to stop talking and have an attorney present, all questioning will be stopped at your request. Do you understand these rights? Yes, ma'am. And do you wish to talk to us? Um, I guess. Okay. If at any time you don't, just let us know. But, um, so what do you do for a living? I plumb swimming pools. You plumb swimming pools? Mm -hmm. So brand new ones? Um, yeah. Who, who do you, do you subcontract with companies? Mm -hmm. Who do you subcontract with? Um, like two or three different companies in town, okay. Orlando. Do you work strictly out of a popka or? It's all over the place. All over Florida? Mm-hmm. So you, where's the furthest you um, All around here anyways. I mean like from up here to down south and probably within about a probably 90 mile radius. Oh, so you travel pretty far sometimes. Mm -hmm. do sometimes. How long does it take you to plumb a pool? Between an hour and a half and six hours. So, uh, does it depend on the size of the pool as to how long? Um, yeah, yeah. You know, just how much stuff is on it. Well, okay. So, would do you do anything else? Is that your basic? That's it. Okay. How far do you go in school? Uh, 12th grade. 12th grade? Mm hmm Do you have any kind of college or any trade? No. So, how did you learn how to be a plumber? Um, just when I got out of school, I was, uh, pumping concrete and met a guy that was doing plumbing and and he taught you how to do it mm -hmm. that's yeah. a pretty good trade to have it's a good trade it's good money i got lucky is it real good money yeah. now do you work by yourself or do you have other people that um i got another guy who works for me sometimes it's two guys but normally one guy all the time well that's good yeah very cool all right um but did you have any questions that you wanted to ask me um how much trouble am I in? Um, well, the complaint that I just filled out as mm -hmm. you charged with lewd lascivious conduct, and it says attempt on um, computer pornography and trans transmission of harmful materials to a minor. So they pretty much speak for themselves as far as the charges go. But there's going to be somebody else coming in to talk to you in a little bit mm -hmm. to get a little more detail for you. Mm -hmm. but, um, so how do you have a computer in your house? Yeah. Is that the one that you use to transmit? Yes. Okay. Is there anybody else that lives in your house with you? Uh, my wife and my two kids. How old are your kids? Four and six. Oh, so you got young ones. Mm-hmm. Are they boys, girls? Girls. Two girls? And four months, uh, my wife's four months pregnant, so. Oh, so you got another one on the way? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yep. Yep. Wow. Yeah. What do you think your wife's going to say? I don't know. What would you say? I'd be pretty upset. Yeah, me too. Hi, Michael. Hello. Do your hands feel a little more comfortable now? They're better now, yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Um, yeah, if you wouldn't mind switching places with me. We got a cramped quarter around here, you have to forgive us. Sorry. <clears throat> I'm Liz Williams, I'm a detective with the Flagler Beach Police Department. And um I believe Ms. Reese has already explained to you um, your rights and you're going to talk to us. Um, why don't you explain to me what you're doing in Flagler Beach today? Come to meet a girl named Allie. It was just to say hi. I was in the area. Um, first, uh, you know, we had explicit talk a couple times, but overall, every time I went to say I was meeting, it was just to meet, say hi. It was nothing to do anything. And, um, Okay, and how old is Allie? She said she was 14. 
Fourteen, and mm -hmm. how old are you? Thirty-four. Thirty-four? Yes, ma'am. How did you tell her you were? Um, I don't remember. Maybe twenty-three? It wasn't thirty-four. Was it maybe twenty-three? Maybe twenty-three. I don't remember, though. And would you think it would be okay for a twenty-three-year-old to be with a fourteen-year-old? To be with? Yes. To do the things that you described in your conversation, to no. do those things, a 23-year-old mm -mm. and a 14-year-old. No, ma'am. So it certainly wouldn't be okay for a 35 or 34-year-old to do them right. Right? Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Um, what, you, you said you were going to come here today just to um, meet with her and, and get to know her as friends? Just to say hi, I told her I'd probably be like hi and bye. No, you didn't. No, I didn't. You didn't tell her you're going to be hi and bye. I think there was actually a conversation about you staying for a little while. A little while. Mm -hmm. I don't remember having a conversation like that. Was there a conversation I mean, I earlier about that. you coming earlier um, and staying the night? She had mentioned that. I never said that. No. Okay. Um, and you are married. I heard you say. Did you tell her you were not married? Didn't really talk about nothing like that. Okay, actually, I mean, I can go through the pages sure, and yes, find the information I, for you, but I think you did tell her that you weren't married, um, which kind of indicates to me that there was obviously a, a sexual or romantic interest in a 14-year-old. I don't remember saying I wasn't married. Okay. Would you like me to find that for if, you? I mean, if, I'll take the time if you'd like. Are you married? No. Want to be one day. I, it must have been when we first started talking. Mm -hmm. when, when did you first start talking? I really don't remember, to be honest. It's About long how long time. ago? Weeks. Mm -hmm. And you, do you talk to other girls on your computer? Not underage girls like that. This is the only one that's underage? Absolutely. How much time do you spend on your computer? It depends on how much time I have. And say, for example, it's a regular work day, um, how much time? Maybe from 10 minutes to an hour. And say it's a weekend or a holiday? Um, about the same. But you usually are on the computer late at night? Usually. Is that after your family's gone to bed, you get on the computer? Um, most of the time. And you live in Orlando? Mm hmm And drove all the way here to say hello, just to I say I was hi coming hi. out this way. Okay, so all these things that you said you were coming here to do, um, to make her have an orgasm and make her quiver and hug her and kiss her, as soon as you get here, hug her and kiss her all over. All over. And, and I bet you taste amazing. Those things... When you left Orlando, when you left Orlando to come here... Those things, when I left Orlando to come here, were not talked about like that. None of that was talked about like that. All those things that you're pulling back from weeks ago that were said when I first started talking to her, and then everything leading up till now was not like that. Okay, so you think that it makes a difference that you not said... Not that it makes a difference, you said but two weeks you're taking ago, it out of context like I just left. Girl. Like I just left to come here well, and said those kind of early things. Early in this conversation, in the dialogue between the two of you, it, you start mentioning that you might come see her, is why I'm saying that. And the, the, the conversation between you um, has a lot of sexual context in it. And that that's what you want to do with her. It was not. Now, if I you think to do with her. that because you said it four days ago or a week ago or two weeks ago that that makes a difference, well, there, there's not much I can do to help you there. Okay, because in my eyes it doesn't make a difference at all. Okay, those those were your intent. So when you left Orlando, that's what you left there intending to do. When I left Orlando, I had a place to go. And I was coming by here to say hi, and that was it. And that's what I told her I was doing. And how old are your children? Five, four, and seven. Have you ever had any legal trouble before? Legal trouble, yeah, recently. Mm, what was that for? Uh, me and my wife getting in arguments. Domestic violence? Mm-hmm. You were you arrested? Mm-hmm. 
And did she um, obtain a, a, an injunction for protection? No, it was nothing like that. Was Department of Children and Family Services called? Yes. Okay. And what were, you, what were your charges? Uh, domestic violence. Battery or assault? Um, it was just domestic violence. So things it was aren't one going of those good in your marriage. She called on the phone and then didn't want to uh, keep talking, and she couldn't hang up, and they had to send people out anyways type thing. And that happened how many times? Um, once. Your wife's, you, you've only had the police call to your house for domestic violence once? Once. You sure it's once? Once. Okay. All right, well, obviously, um, you uh, don't feel like the conversation that you had with this 14-year-old girl was inappropriate? Um, that's not, no. I'm just saying I was coming here to say hi. It was no intentions of any, I even said no intentions. Do you no think that what you said to her was appropriate? Um, at times, no. And why did you do it? Just bored. Boredom? Up late at night. Okay, well, Michael, I don't have any further questions for you, do you? No. Okay, look, what we're going to do um, is we're going to walk you out into the hallway. Mm -hmm. The rules are no sudden movements or anything like that. If you need to stretch or rise, then you need to ask the officer that's out there and just let him know that you're going to be doing that, okay? Because mm -hmm. we don't want any kind of sudden movements to be misinterpreted. <coughs> is there a way I can make a phone call? Not right now. Um, you're going to be going to the Flagler County Inmate Facility here in a little while. You'll just need to sit and be patient. Um, there's no bond assigned to your um, arrest. You'll have to have to see the judge for first appearance for a bond to be assigned. Okay? You understand that? Unfortunately, I do. Can you stand up by yourself? Yes, ma'am. Can I have another drink, please? Sure. Michael, do you have anything in your truck that we need to know about? Any kind of contraband or anything?